If we look at our experience of democracy since 1994, one of the problems that the ANC faced was that with our democracy, politics became a career. Now, one can't deny that that happens all around the world. Politics is a career and a future. But when we were involved in the struggle against apartheid, it wasn't a career. We didn't go into politics, into the struggle in order to have a future and to be rewarded. Some of us were in the struggle with no income whatsoever. I certainly didn't have an income from 1961 to 1994. So we went in there even not expecting to be alive. But post 94, politics is now a career. And therefore the ANC failed to adjust and take into account that reality. And now we, 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 are, we are seized with a membership which has come in in a culture where it is a career, where it is how to make a living for yourself. What they have lost in that process, in the failure to adjust it, is that yes, it's a career, but it's a career where you are a servant of the people. And we haven't interrogated that experience to make it a duty. What is the responsibility of an ANC member when you join the ANC? Do you just say, I agree with this policy full stop? I think what is missing is the requirement and commitment from each one who becomes a member to say, I'm going to be a servant of the people. I'm going to be in touch with the community day to day, and I'm going to bring their concerns to the table so that we make their life improve. And we do not expect that improvement to be a magical moment. We expect that to a steady incremental one. Our people built hope in the worst days of apartheid. That hope was based on freedom will come. Today, we need hope that life will get better. And that means service delivery. Policies are no longer the major issue. The major issue is, are you an ANC member, a servant of the people? Are you serving them? Let's get service to the communities happen. Let's get delivery happen. Let's get rid of corruption because corruption cannot be a systemic issue in our system. It is systemic today because people in power in the public and the private sector have been abusing that power. That's the root why corruption has become systemic and we've got to understand that problem and tough it out. Who is ready to face that challenge within the ANC from outside the ANC as well. Because the ANC today needs to bring in fresh blood into it so that it is not just a product in the hands of a generation like myself who's now outdated and long past our sell by date. But I think the lessons of the ANC in recovery and meeting the challenges is that it has done so always by merging the experience of the old with the fresh daring and adventure and searching for an answer by the youth. It's that combination that is needed. And I believe the ANC is now engaged in trying to face that question. How it will face it, I don't know. We learn more from our mistakes as we mature. Even a child, you will tell it not to touch the stove and yet it will touch it until it is burnt, uh, burnt its hand. And you will say, I told you so. And tomorrow the child will touch the stove again and it will learn from that experience not to touch the fire. So let's learn from our mistakes. Let's interrogate our past and find the mistakes without getting trapped in the blame game. Let the blame fall on those who are and let the law take its course. But let the facts go on so that we as ordinary citizens demand accountability, but demand delivery of services where we live, where our children go to school, where our children play and where we spend our leisure time. Let those environments become safe environments where life improves steadily. You, the public, are part of the solution. 
Those who choose to become members of the ANC make it an activist body. Those who choose to stay out of the ANC apply pressure on the ANC as the governing party to deliver. Apply pressure that it be accountable. Let us all take this democracy that we have won through blood, sweat and tears and make it a living process. And in that way, I believe that the ANC needs to renew itself. I believe we should work to make it renew itself. And if it fails to renew itself, it will be deserved to go into the dustbins of history.